Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't sleep good in new houses. Neither does Ellie. <laughs> welcome to today's video. We are here to check on Duck and Goose before we head over to the other barn. They're alive, I hear them. I'm just gonna give them some fresh water and let them out. Oh, it's so nice to have a clean space. I'm gonna start bringing over some barn stuff today. So that's exciting. Also, I found this hose, uh, which I'm obsessed with, is this kind of thing. And I've bathed and I've bathed horses with this before. Love this, can't wait to use it. We found some buckets in the barn. Come on! This barn also has um, a water softener, so all of our hair is looking a little different, softer. I saw all of your guys' comments saying pick up the other hay. I did think that that was probably better, but Sam talked me into saying, yeah, let's leave it. I do worry about diseases and germs, especially from raccoons. I've seen horses get sick from raccoons before. There's actually not as much hay as it looks. Let me show you. It should be quite easy to get it picked up. So this is the hay and then this is the dirt. And it's dirt like sand, which I don't love for horses because it's dusty, but it is so soft, you guys. Like the horses are gonna love this on their feet. Last night I had Sam come out and reinforce this. Look. There's your water. Whew, here's your water. All right. Oh, you're not getting out without scissors. Last night we saw three cats across the road and six raccoons. So we're like, mm, we need to reinforce this. I need to go get some scissors to let them out. I also need to put a bucket someplace where the dogs can find water because I know Ellie especially gets so exhausted from her runs. Don't worry, I'm coming back for you. Oddly, I brought scissors out this morning to put in here. Come on out. They have still have lots of water in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so people are saying leave them in their in their coop until they get used to it for like a week or so. And that's what you do. That's what we did do with our cats. And that's what we would do with our chickens if we were going to free range them. What? It's okay. Uh, but these guys really need grass. Grass helps slow down their rate of growth. Like geese grow so fast. If they grow too fast with like regular food, like the food that we feed them, then it can cause joint issues. The grass helps to slow down that growth. We also give them stuff inside their food to slow down the growth, but grass is like honestly the best thing for them. And they love it. They hardly even eat the food. Hey, Ruby. They hardly even eat the food that we give them. So we always want to make sure that they get lots of grass. So out on grass they go. I hate leaving them because they hate us leaving them. They follow us to the door. Um, it's the crack of dawn though. I feel something banging. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. Guys, listen. I have to go. We have more animals to care for. <laughs> they keep running into my feet. <laughs> Last night when we saw the raccoons and the cats, Sophie's like, oh, thank goodness that this farm is fenced in. They can't get our geese and our duck. And I'm like, Sophie, they can climb. <laughs> oh, they look like they're doing a little bit better today. They're actually eating, even though they really want out. Go find your water. I'm so glad you guys have been weighing in. As someone said this morning, like, don't forget, you have to walk as far as your saddle to where you're tacking up the horse. So now I have to rearrange some stuff because that's going to be a long, heavy walk. It's the state of affairs with Ellie every morning. Yesterday she had a bath. She runs through the grass and it's wet. And then she runs through the arena, which is sandy. And then poof, I have that kind of walk. So last night I had a dream that Storm was lame. And Sophie's supposed to have a lesson today on him. And I woke up and I said, Sophie, you're not going to be riding. Storm's lame. And so she said, should I run him? Is he lame? No, but he lost his shoe, so it would be stupid. <laughs> so in my dream, he was limping on one leg. So I'm like, yeah, my dreams like that always come true. But after riding him bareback, last time I rode him with a saddle, he was so stiff, like he didn't want to move in it. But with bareback, he moved freely. Yeah, I wonder if it's the saddle that he doesn't like. Maybe so Storm's, Storm's not lame, but he lost his shoe. I told you my dreams always come true. Always. I, I realize 
So last night it rained and he was probably running wild because he doesn't like rain. All right, put him out. I'm gonna call the trainer. One of the last views of us going in this barn. Uh, today I'm hoping to take over a bunch of this stuff. It is the crack of dawn. Throw Sam's already gone for grass. coffee. Yeah, throw them out on grass. Hey, come on. I have to go. Wait, Chino. No, you're helping me. Yeah, I'll help you. Help yeah, we gotta go find the shoe. So honey is finally turning Palomino. Wait, I wanna show you guys honey. She's finally filling in. Oops, she pushes the door open herself. Did you see that? She pushed the door open. No, she did it too. Strong has to go first. Okay, hold on. So you guys, you guys see it? Can you guys see it? I'm guessing she's still gonna be like a light color this year because she's still young. Her holster is gonna need to be put on a lower pole too. Wow, yeah, she's gained weight. She's filling in. She's looking like a horse. She's still got lots of fur on her on her legs. So if we hadn't have she's still trimmed her, she would have been in this heat wave with still uh, so much hair. She's so, so much happier though. She's so much happier. You know, I was loving this. He's getting two girls working on him. Gabby's gonna ride him. Well, the best thing to get is this curry comb with the rollers on the other side. Yeah, it feels so good. We tested it. <laughs> It's time to bring out the trailer. So the only reason we're not riding right now is because of the heat wave. Unless we come every day in the morning. It's like 9 a.m. right now. Not even 9 a.m. I went out into the field and brushed every horse so that they are feeling comfy. They all loved it. They all, I noticed one huge thing. I noticed that, okay, so the horses are on grass for 12 hours now a day 12 hours because they're going to be uh like i want them to be out 24 7. but my friends are like oh with ponies you don't want them to be out 24 7. i don't know like they're handling 12 hours fine she looks good i'm going to show you guys in a second chino is such an honest horse gabby every time he pulls your head the hands it's because he's saying he looks see like that he wants more rain here's the problem with here's the problem i'm struggling with now Gabby is meant to be working him out, like bringing him back into work, but he's so bumpy and the same thing happened when we first bought him. It's hard for her. You need to put the phone down, give it to me, and actually ride this boy. She like does one strip and then she stops. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, he's looking at that. Hang on, he got down to you. Wow, he looks like he's got energy. <laughs> he looks like he's got energy. So he will pull his head every, like he will flip his head every time she pulls back on the reins. He looks cute. Go, 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 Don't scare him, Sophie. Yeah, I'm just trotting. No, why? Because you can go further. Gabby likes to work. Okay, I want you to ride him in here for like five minutes trotting all the time, five minutes. All right. Oh wait, I don't have a belt. Put her in your bra. That's what I do. She's got my phone, so hopefully this works out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can you see? Gabby, that's gonna bounce right out of there. No, I ride with my phone all the time. All right. You need to get some breeches with pockets. I have pockets. Yeah, not those kind of pockets. All right, can work this see? boy out. She wants to ride in the grass. She She's can... laughing. <laughs> She's, laughing. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can see your belly. Oh wait, can you? <laughs> anyway we're gonna work him out i'm gonna like try and get her she's i don't know if it's that she's out of shape i don't know if it's that like i think it's just that he's so bouncy and she's used to riding a four he's so bouncy and she's not used to that but he really needs to like build up his muscle and get moving he's just eating and standing right now the bugs are horrible i should hop on him he wants to keep going so that's one full, oh, keep going, keep going all the way around. He wants to keep going. I should hop on him. But she doesn't want to. It's her that keeps stopping. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> he can do it, he can do it. I'm trying to fix it. He's like, yes, I love it. <laughs> Look at him, fast Cheeto. Tonight we are running on the right track. I miss this horse so much and I miss, wow. I miss being, look at that head action. He has to throw his head to get momentum because he's out of shape. 
You're supposed to be trotting. It's just me, Chino. But look at him, he's wanting to work. She didn't even ask him to canter and he just took off cantering, which is obviously not good, but he wants to be busy. He needs to, he's loving this. He probably feels the best he's felt his whole time with us. Oh, that was two feet in the air. It'll be nice when he's back to looking himself. Okay, trotting three laps. Start at those those things again over there and trot three laps. He jumped three feet, two feet in the ground. Up in the All right, so she rode him for 20 minutes. It was a long 20 minutes. He kept trying to canter. I think he's just excited to be out and riding he's out there by himself and loving it look at those eyeballs that he looks so happy he looks it's so dead. it's dead oh oh never mind oh. i tried it he looks so different like he he literally looks so much happier she's gonna dry him off with the blower if she can get it to work there we go dry his hair He's like, what the hell? <laughs> He's like, okay, it's Gabby, I trust you. Hey, yo. Yeah, blow your hair. But we have our couch and our chair, our couch and our love seat over here. And these are our barn furniture. I don't know exactly how it's gonna happen over here. I got some fans for in here now. It brought a bunch of stuff over for this shelf. I'm probably gonna end up using it for tack. Like I'm gonna probably put our our brushes, our tack brushes are here because then we can just grab them and go out there. If this barn always has a breeze like this, like I don't know if you can see my hair blowing, but it is amazing. Like it is nice and cool. So I heard what you guys said about the straw or the hay or whatever it is here. I agree. I totally agree. I was hoping somebody would <laughs> agree with Sam, but it should be easy to take out. Oh, just in case you hear noises. My friends are with me. I thought I had a pitchfork over here but I don't shoot I have to call Sam and tell him to bring me one but I guess Sam will be hanging up all of our all of our brooms and stuff in this area the only thing I'm concerned about with this sand we might have to get like a, a, a load of footing brought in is because this stuff is really soft and fluffy like it's soft and and I know in the past a lot of people have freaked out of, about us feeding our horses on sand but the sand that we put fed them on like in the arena and in their paddock is like heavy dirt, like it's heavy. This stuff, you wouldn't be able to separate it from their food. So, I mean you would, but it's, it's so light. Like I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, so I'm not sure about that. We're gonna maybe have to use a, a feeder in the barn for like hay. We could use one of these. What do you guys think about these? So it was for goats previously but there are a few of them around the property. I'm in here, <laughs> come on. I'm honestly anxious to bring the horses home. And a lot of you guys have been asking me where are we gonna put our outdoor arena? And I don't wanna sacrifice any of our fields. Like these are the only three fields that I wanna use, or even maybe four fields. We're probably gonna use these four fields as fields. I don't wanna limit ourselves to fields, but the only place that I can see being suitable is down there at the bottom of that hill outside the duck run it's gonna have to be like down there that's it that's the only place now that's gonna get old <laughs> today's big job is that we're gonna di dig out all that we're gonna still work on the horse thing but today I'm gonna get all the wood out of the chicken coop let's go look at the chicken coop you guys I think Sam wants us to stack the wood that's in the chicken coop in this pile right here or maybe right here I don't know but anyway last night I came out and was trying to cut the grass around the chicken coop it's really run down and grassy in there but the chickens will love that I have to get in here. I have to cut all this grass down, but people threw some wood in there, but it doesn't look like a lot. So I think that'll be easy to get out. Um, I have to cut down some of this tree. And then there's one panel of hardware cloth that I have to replace over there. And 
then that will be it for the outside. So I'll probably finish this today. I also want to cut grass in a Chino's paddock, but this is the coop. It's just like a big old coop and it's actually freezing in here compared to outside. The run to get outside is there. So we have like a lot of cleaning to do. Little wood box that I can put in the back porch and put wood in it for when we're using it for the house. Um, uh, there's a little pail there that's really cute. I could put chicken food in there. But anyway, we're gonna clean this out. It's not a ton of wood. It shouldn't take too long. We have wheelbarrows here. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna sweep it. I'm gonna put in, I wanna put in sand, like a special kind of sand that's good for chickens because then it's like kitty litter to clean up after them. And wow, it's so cold in here. That doesn't work. Whoa. Oh, it was a moth. <laughs> I haven't seen any awful creatures yet here. No snakes. If there's gonna be them, probably in that wood pile. But I'm gonna get the girls to come out after I make lunch because it's really hot. We need to go have a rest and cool down. Um, and we're going to clean out this, get this set up for chickens. I have to build some roosts. It's huge for chickens. And then hopefully bring them home tomorrow. Many hours later, we are working on the chicken coop still. It's coming along, but I have to show you what happened. We don't have a pool for the duck and the goose yet. We have one, we just haven't brought it over yet. And they haven't really been very big to like leave a pool out for them. So we have been bringing a water bucket and we came out of the chicken coop and this is what we saw. The goose laying on the ground and the duck sleeping in the water bucket. <laughs> She's just swimming. Just chilling. It's so funny. Three people working and we got this far. Like this is pretty good. We're gonna finish this. I get all of this out and that's gonna be it for today because like I told you, it's a heat wave. And we've been working all day since like 7 a.m. I got the little door covered, uncovered. And uh, I got out a lot of the junk on the ground. The girls are doing the wood and I've cleaned up everything else. That is it for today. <laughs> It, um, I just have a couple of loads of scooping. I use my shovel and scoop up all this dirt, rake it all into a pile. I have a couple of loads of those. I'm probably gonna do them in the morning because it is insanely hot out here. I'm probably gonna put their food and their water on these bricks over here and we're gonna keep on working. But that is the end of today's video because I know it's getting too long, but this is gonna be our coop. Uh, in case you didn't see what Sam said we were gonna do, we're gonna build a fence all along here and we're going to build that to be their coop and that corner over there that wall right there is going to be their roosts and then probably underneath the roost is going to be our brooder and our brooder will have the baby chickens in there and they'll be able to like be around the other chickens while they're growing the other chickens get used to them so it's easier to introduce them when it's time and then over on this section it will be our feeding station and whatever else we want to use it for but that's it for the chicken coop. We will see you guys tomorrow.